All right, what's going on guys? Try back again, here to bring you another video. This one's gonna be doing a video giving my thoughts on the Duffer Brothers comments about Stranger Things lasting possibly four or maybe five seasons. And I'll put the link in the description for you guys to NME.com where it references an interview with the Duffer Brothers who are of course the creators of Stranger Things which we are seeing uh, on Netflix just finishing up its uh, second season or second season release. You know whether or not you've seen it all the way through is up to you yet. Uh, but we pretty much know you know it's going to get a season three and uh, here they discuss how many seasons um, they uh, think that Stranger Things will last or how many seasons they envision it lasting because of course they are responsible for creating the show and you know they have a vision for the series so where they're looking at in terms of the future for Stranger Things. So uh, definitely check out the article so you can read it for yourselves but um it says, speaking to Entertainment Weekly, the Duffer Brothers said that uh, they can see the show lasting four or five seasons, but things could change. Uh, then it says, uh, everything changes as we move forward, so we'll see, said Ross Duffer. Uh, Matt Duffer added, uh, I want it to have a really finite ending. I don't want it to be one of those shows that runs out of gas uh, and they lose it because they're losing interest. Uh, you want to end when you're on top. Of the new season, Ross said, hopefully uh, you'll come uh, to the end of the season two uh, and feel fully satisfied and want more, but you'll feel like uh, it has come to a conclusion. But also, uh, we've laid the groundwork for further seasons. So, as a lot of us have seen right now, uh, you know, uh, spoiler warning, but you have the Mind Flayer and uh, is still alive at the end of season two, but it's in the Upside Down, so it's kind of trapped. It can't get through to the world. So, so it's been kind of defeated and trapped back. But, um, you know, we could see it kind of resurge or come through again or some other, you know, uh, creature or something come through. We'll have to see what they decide to do with it. Um, so this is kind of an interesting one that they're referring to ending the series before it starts to lose steam or it starts to kind of run out of steam and kind of start to lose interest, which uh, we're seeing happen with another series <laughs> right now, uh, which uh, we, won't, we won't mention any names. But, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know. You can probably guess what it is. <laughs> so, uh, so here's the thing. This is my take on it. Um, four to five seasons is great. You know, personally, I'm really happy if they want to do four or five seasons. I do feel after seeing the first season of Stranger Things, and I was talking about this with my wife, which is that, you know, we're, you know, it kind of feels like a show that maybe is like a one shot. Now, when we heard they were doing season two, I was like, yes, because I love the first season. Happy they're doing season two. Now we're finding out season three, four, maybe five. It's like, yes, 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 again, um, you know, uh, to get more Stranger Things. Here's the thing. Stranger Things is not just a regular TV series. I think Stranger Things has stood out, in, and the numbers show this. You know, you look at 15 million views in the first couple weeks of a Netflix release is insane for a season two premiere uh, on a on a station like that, or not, it's not even a station on a subscription service where not even that many. Well, a lot of people do have Netflix, but. It's not the same as a regular TV show airing, and yet the numbers are just booming for the series. So here's what I personally would like to see. I'm happy that they're gonna they're willing to do at least four or five seasons. I hope that they consider expanding the universe a little bit more, digging deep, because of course, creatively, they were the ones that came up with this to start with. So if it wasn't for obviously they got the skills, you know, obviously they have the skills to create this series and to do something with this. Personally, I think this show, after seeing the second season, can go longer than four or five seasons. I think you can get more seasons out of it, and I think you should. Not because of the story, but because of people. Because of, not because you want to milk it and you want to say, okay, well, you know, we want to make as much money as we can, Netflix wants more because of the fans. That's why I think you should do more. I think you should do more because ultimately it's what the fans are going to want and I can pretty much guarantee you as long as seasons 3, 4, and 5 are anywhere close to as good as season 2 or 1 were, even if they're a little bit worse, still I think the fans would want to see more because there are not a lot of series. There's a lot of these, you know, cookie cutter shows which can get, you know, bones and things. I don't want to <laughs> hate on bones or procedural crime dramas or series like this. Uh, or Arrow or some of this. You know, I mean, you guys may like some of these shows. I'm not going to beat them up or say that they're crap or whatever because everybody has their own taste. Everybody has things they like. 
Personally, I think Stranger Things could go longer than that, and I think that the fans would want to see it go longer than that. And even if some casual fans quit out because they're like, oh, you know what, I just don't want to watch this anymore, whatever, it's no big deal. I think that you're building in season two and going into season three, you're starting to build what is more of a hardcore fan base, where those are people that are going to go out, they're going to buy the action figures. They're going to buy the posters. I already bought a poster, by the way. <laughs> so they're going to buy some lights for their YouTube channels. Okay, now green and, and, and multicolor lights for their backdrop. Now, okay, not many people have YouTube channels. I, oh, that's only me. But, uh, you know, they're going to support the series. They're going to buy the merch. They're going to do the stuff. You know, Netflix is going to want more. And the fans are going to want more. And if you don't want to do more, it's kind of like, well, you know, I mean, you can end it on top. You know, I get it. You, you do the Breaking Bad approach. End it on top. Get the most views you're going to get per episode at the end. Have it finish up to be one of the best series, you know, that, that's pretty much been done, maybe ever, uh, depending on how the next few seasons go. And then people can always go back and watch it on Netflix because it's five seasons. It's a one shot. It's awesome. And it's over. But here's the problem with it is a few years after you end it, just like Breaking Bad, it'll still be on Netflix. People will still watch it. If they've never seen it, they'll check it out. Um, I just feel like there's so much potential there. There's potential there to get to a season seven or get to a season eight or what have you. And even if some people quit on it, they're like, I don't want to watch anymore, whatever. Maybe it's not as good as it was in season five or six or, or three or two or whatever. You know what? I still think that it's such a good series. Even if you lose a few steps, you still got a better show than probably majority of the shows out there. So you still can, you still can, you know, uh, do well, but you just have to creatively think of how you're going to expand out that universe and take it from, you know, maybe, you know, our core group here and start to, and they've already started to do this in season two, add in some more characters, expand out the things that are stranger and, uh, you know, take it into maybe a larger territory. And you see this with eight and some of the other things here in the season. And I don't feel like in season two, eight story is as good as the, uh, as the core group is. I don't, I didn't enjoy it with uh, 11 as much as I enjoy the usual stuff, but still, you know, if you have to expand it, you have to bring in these other characters characters that maybe people like, maybe some people don't, different locations that maybe, you know, are not, you know, don't seem like they fit with Stranger Things as well as some of the stuff we see in the small town um, with Hastings and that. Still, I feel like you can do a little bit more than that. But we'll see what they what they want to do with the series. I know Netflix is going to want more. <laughs> you can bet your ass Netflix is going to want more, just like HBO wants more Game of Thrones <clears throat> and AMC wants more Walking Dead and, you know, and, and on and on and on. So personally, I'm hoping they do more than four or five seasons because I think the show is just going to grow and more people are going to love it. Because really, it's something so special with its kind of 80s tribute that it makes a lot of us who are kind of grown-ups now, uh, it's not fun anymore, right? <laughs> feel like 80s kids again. And that feeling is something that, you know, I think they should use for as many seasons as they can. You know, have it change, have it grow, have the kids maybe grow up. Maybe they graduate high school at the end of the series. Maybe they go to college. Maybe they go into the real world and I don't know what you do with them. I don't know. Creatively, I'm not sure. You know, maybe you, you figure out a way to have them kind of become hot spots for strange things, you know, somehow. I don't know. But I have faith and I think that they could probably do it if they, if they set their minds to it because of the fact that they've already made this series as it is. So I'm happy they're getting at least four or five seasons of the show. It's better than one or two, but I do think there's more potential there, so I hope they go even longer. But we'll see what they decide to do. Anyway, you guys write your comments below. Let me know what you think about this, and what do you prefer? You guys know that I personally prefer, you know, they keep a series going for about as long as they can, and... You know, until they run out of ideas to the point where it's like, okay, we really have to wrap it up now. This is what it is. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Maybe a lot of you are fans of the Breaking Bad approach where you end it in five and uh, or four and you're done and it just goes down as an awesome series that people can watch. But maybe it doesn't have 100 episodes. Maybe it only has... 50 or 40 or something like that. Short and sweet. Let me know what you guys pref uh, prefer here. Uh, let me know what you think. And if you like this video, please thumb it up below. You can share, you can favorite. And if you're new and you want to subscribe to the channel, I would appreciate it. You can do it at the bottom left. That's it for this one, guys. I'll see you again soon for another. As always, this is Trev. And I'm saying peace. Later, guys. See you soon.